Sup, Peter here. Welcome back to another video. Now, I find a really old as game called Puff Up Travels Through Time. Shut up, I'm talking. Lunchbox. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't suck it. That always works. <laughs> I love dogs, suck you. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to find this. Here's my coins. I uh, better not leave home. Papa, can you please shut up and try to talk? And so, I'm gonna play this because I. I haven't played this before. It's a, because it's really old. And Black Fox convinced me to play it, didn't you? Yeah. Hey, 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 how about I tell you what to do? Okay. <clears throat> Let's go find our friend, Mr. Firebird. I really like my guy, the Game of Life video. Is that working? Oh, what was I thinking? I need a coin to start the washing machine. Jeff, I'm fresh out. I go on. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. Oh, come away. Oh, sorry, guys. There you go. Here we go. Here's the coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, this is not a mere coin, Putt Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. <laughs> Holy gas cam! This shouldn't be happening! Oh. Look at that, there goes my stuff. No! There goes my stuff and my dog. This is not good at all, Putt Putt. My calculations show that until everything is brought back to the present time, I won't be able to shut the portal. Don't worry, Mr. Firebird. I'll go in and find everything. Once you find all your things, we can close this time portal for good. You be careful, Putt-Putt, and good luck! Okay, we're gonna go to the one on the furthest left. What the heck? Did this happen as well when you play it? It did? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, one on the furthest left. Let's go. 
Prehistoric times. The what? Prehistoric. Prehistoric times. Whoa. Silver times, dinosaurs, and all that. Age of the dinosaurs. What a guess. I wonder how I can move this thing so I can drive through. Wowie zowie! It's a real live Brachiosaurus! Hello. Ms. Brachiosaurus, and who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Putt Putt, and I've come from the future. I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. That strange something happens to be my tail. I thought Putt. so. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I really appreciate it. Thanks! Oh, she's nice. Thanks a lot, Ms. V. Okay. Hello, I'm Putt Putt. Do you need some help? Yes, but first, you gotta tell me what in the heck is a Putt Putt? I never <laughs> laid eyes on anything quite like you before. I'm a car, and I'm visiting from the future. Whoa! Imagine that! I'm way of glad to meet you! Say, Putt, how'd you like to help me figure out how to move this basic pile of rocks? Then I can build me a bridge and go home! I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. Full speed ahead! Here we are the way, man. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> that was fantastic! Stupendous! Putt, you cars from the future? Sure know how to fix your basic bridge. Thanks. Uh oh, big time problem alert. Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job. Don't worry, I'm sure I can find one somewhere. Do you want to find it? Yes. Like Looks like we need a rock you shaped like your basic triangle. I'll keep an eye out for a rock in the shape of a triangle. Then you can cross your bridge. It's in the old west. Oh, so a different different place in here? Yeah. Okay. So, do we go into the old west? Yeah. Let's go then. See, there it is. Oh, ah, nice. It's a triangular rock. That's just what I need. I thought that rock there was the one I needed. That's a pentagon. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Will, guess what? I found a rock, and I think it will fit in the hole in the bridge. Well, what do you know? Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah. Thanks a gazillion putt. Well, I'm homeward bound. Come visit any old time you like. What is he supposed to be? A, a wheel. A wheel? From what? From the Stone Age. Okay. I Ooh. can't quite reach. Oh. Reach what? Oh. <laughs> Look at that! It's an Apatosaurus! An itchy and a horribly miserable Apatosaurus at the moment. My name's Putt Putt. And maybe I can help you. What a positively inspired idea. You could just roll on over to my back and scratch away this terrible itch. But then I'd have to drive over your head. Not a problem, but, but I'm tough. I can take it. Just oh, scratch that spot, please. Okay, I'll try. I'll do that. I can do that. Go a little to the right. Is it? Yes. yes. Go a little bit down. Going down. Oh. Go a little to the right. 
a little more to the right. Okay, there's this first uh, place. Hold that kid. Oh, now I can relax. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Yeah. Can I go Mind across? if I drive over your tail to the other side? As far as I'm concerned, Putt Putt, you could drive on me all day and night. Be my guest. Thanks! Awesome. Is that her, Doctor? Oh my goodness, it's Pet! She's in a pterodactyl nest! <laughs> Yay! You got my dog back. I got you, Pep. I sure did miss you, boy. Now all I have to do is get my lunch box, my calculator, and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. When Watson says lunch box, it makes me think of John saying, "Nearly the highway is dark outside." That's, that's what it reminds me of. Don't really go into the medieval, medieval evil times yet. Tabula? Yeah. Okay. Hello? Bye. <laughs> so where else is to go? Just look around for more stuff. Okay. Okay, up here. Okay, there's something else here. So, where are we going now? Go back to the Wild West. Okay. We're off to the Wild Wild West now. So let's go. Which one first? This one? Does it really matter? No, it doesn't really matter. Okay. General store. Hello. Okay. It's to the train station now. I'm, I'm, guys, I'm just looking in what is what's going on, like what's. It's an oil can. I'm just looking at what's going on, like what's happening hey, in each place. You didn't show up a moment too soon. <laughs> I'm looking to hire me a junior conductor. Peak your interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up while I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. Okay. Got the oil wheel here? A little on the wheels would be nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. Ah, but you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't get your name. My name's Putt Putt. Well, Putt Putt, my partner, so far you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. Thank you. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that old can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks. Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of firewood. Can't find a stick of it anywhere. How's about keeping those eagle eyes of yours open and locating me some? I'd be happy to. That's in the medieval place. So that's where that's where that's where I need to go. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go there right now. Medieval place, like was that in like? Must be in the medieval times. That's time in like kings and all that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Help. My 
you are certainly the fancy carriage. I'm not a carriage exactly. I'm a car from the future. My name's Cut Cut. I'm very happy to meet you, Cut Cut. I'm Princess Chassie, and this is my best friend and loyal subject, Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We were charging back to the house as fast as we could when I hit a bump and my wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Pat-Pat. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward and I'll flip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my goodness gracious sakes. Good thanks to both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with a blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps we'll see you later, Pet Pet. Bye! Am I done in like, in, am I done in the prehistoric times? Yeah. Okay, that didn't take long then. Wow, this is some castle! Yes it is! And we even rained and rusted the gates shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. Is it I oil? I think I have something that will work. This should help open that rusted gate. It's oil, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. A thousand and one thank yous, Put Put. Now we won't be late for story time. Hi, Woodward. Good. There's the wood. I need. For some things. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks. That's what. Well, that, that's a nice. You seem like a nice person. Delivered a huge pile of firewood. Oh, that would work. Such a helpful little fellow. Would you like some? It would be an honor to share it with you. Oh, thank you very much. He seems, he seems like a nice person. <laughs> Bye. Coming along nice. Oh, wizard. Hello, I'm... Do, do not tell me. Ah, yes. You must be from the future. Yep. How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. Merlin the Magician? Wow! I got a, I got a, I got a you question for you, Van Fox. Away, like is it ironic that all magician or type things, the sure Northern Age Marlin, I mean, from I this game, Strike the Third, you know, Merlin? Mean? Yeah. So from, from the Sword and the Stone, you know? So, yeah. Oh. Then whatever would I read to the children of the kingdom? 
They would be so very disappointed to miss story time. You could read it to them and then give it back to me. Ah, uh, but it is so interesting. I want to read it every day. Maybe I could find another story for you, and you could read that one to them instead. That is a splendid idea. Perhaps you can find me a story about... Hmm, let me see. A story about an elephant. It's yeah. in the future. It's in the future? Yeah. Well, all this is in the... Okay, so it's in the future? Yeah. Where's that one at? That's the last one you had me to. Oh! Whoa. Is this what the future is going to look like? The I think so. I wonder what year it is. Probably when I'm long gone, I'll say that. Here it goes. Hey guys, when, I, when I'm passed away, please don't forget me. Who's this? No, not important. Not important? Alright, let's go there. This time around. This is unimportant wow. too. It's not? This no. Looks yeah, but we're gonna leave. <laughs> hey! Is that a lunchbox? Lunch yes, it is a lunchbox. Welcome to our museum. I am Arthur T. Fact, the pre programmed curator. But you may call me R.T. Fact. Hi, I'm Pet Pet, and I'm visiting from the past. I think that lunchbox you have on display is mine. I am sorry, but I have no record in my memory banks that this particular lunchbox belongs to you. It does, though. 4,362,000 of them manufactured in your time. But I'm sure that one's mine. It's got a picture of Smokey the Fire Engine on it. I cannot give it to you. Otherwise, I will not have an ancient food container on display. But that's stealing, then. Do another ancient food container. Then could I trade it for my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox? Yes, you could. Great! So but that's just what I'll do. So where do I find that? In the prehistoric times. But you said I finished there. Yeah, I forgot. Excuse me. Okay, an elephant one. What are looking for? An elephant. Okay. Ghost of it. There it is. Yikes, the elephant is trying to ski on banana peels on a mountain of snow. Look out for the toast. Okay. Excuse me, Darian. Could you please make a book for me? Certainly, Pot Pot. Which one do you want? The story about an elephant. Coming right up. Here you go, sir. That's not physically possible. In the future, it might be. Yeah, no. Yeah, do you. I never said I did. Thanks. Now I have a book to give to King Chariot. The last place you need to visit. The last place? Yeah. Really? It's not important. So I don't need to visit that to finish this game? No. Here. I'm gonna call this video a uh, full playthrough, you know, like in just like one video. Yeah. Because so, I'm doing all the places, guys. Toby, here's the firewood. Thanks, amigo. Yes, sir, Bob. That feels fine. Now I'm officially in business, thanks to you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. Yeah, the, the, it sounds like what King said to, to, to uh, Sam. Hey, old buckaroo. Yeah. Where do you want it? Next stop, Gold River. Gold River? Yeah. He's paying for gold, isn't he? Yeah. I did that in the fifth grade. Hot. Nothing important here. All aboard for hut. Our whole class in the fifth grade did it. Ah, uh, key poison. I've actually never. Could you throw that down to me, please? It's mine. Whoa. That's my calculator. That's what I need. Uh-oh. 
Get to the prospecting guy that was looking for gold. Can help me? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Go to river then. Dude, can you help me? What? That's not what I said. That's not what I said. I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I said. Yeah, because he's old as balls. Well, looky here. Dang, blame it. It's just a bunch of old rusty keys. Is that going to work? Excuse me, do you mind if I take these? Ah, Sonny, you can take them, shake them, or bake them, for all I care. They're just a bunch of good-for-nothing keys, is all. You never know. They might be good for something. Thanks, bro. Time to get my my calculator out of there. Which key Which one is it, though? My fox is which one is it? Not sure. I don't know what it is though. This one, one that's the key hole. Key should I use? Is it this one? Is it this one? Oh. What? It worked. She's the she's so then I say. As a reference. All I have to do is get my lunch box. Like this video so if you get that reference. She's the only thing that I say. Like this, like this video if you get that reference. Okay, go to um either the future or the medieval times. You can choose. I think I'll go to the medieval times. Because I like the, like the place so much better. Okay, then go to the king and give him the book. Okay. Hey, bro. Here you go, King Sherrod. Here's your storybook. <laughs> And here, Putt Putt, is your history report. Thank you. Thank you very much, King Chariot. Thank now all I have to do is get my lunch box so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. There's the future museum and give that guy the ball and give you a bunch of back. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, here you go, man. Here's an ancient food container for you, Artifact. It's a really old stone bowl. I got it from a wheel way back in the dinosaur ages. The dinosaur ages, you say? How amazing. This will now be the oldest item we have in our museum. Here. Take the lunchbox. Thanks. Great. I got my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox back! Hot diggity, this is great! She's it never said that before in her life. Everything I needed to get. Come on, Pep, let's travel back through time to Car Town and tell Mr. Firebird. And when it's finishes? Is this how it finishes? Sorry if this is a longer video, guys. Disasters? disasters? I don't know about that, Mr. Firebird. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Between you and me, I thought time traveling was the best fun ever. Well, I'm glad you had so much fun, Putt Putt. But according to my calculations, you're going to be late for school unless you hurry. Yikes, you're right, Mr. Firebird. I'll show you my report later. Here's my history report. 
Now let me tell you what I learned. Let's do an answer. Alright, um, that's it for this video. Uh, please do a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you get the reference that I said, she stole anything that I say, leave a thumbs up on this video if you, if you, if you get that reference. And, um, yeah, click subscribe, turn notifications on so you never miss my videos. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video, which is probably, uh, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. But until then, peace and lights out.